Hello everyone, I'm Liko Wan. I would be on behalf of my country to present this topic. I firstly to say distinguished to the presidents of Honda Foundation and ladies and gentlemen for our audience. And my partner member is Dr. Kandala Kampila, but she is another responsibility. And we are very nice to see you all and welcome to our presentation. Uh, this is our proposal's objective. Uh, actually, we have uh, to discuss about the benefit of wetland and the negative impact of the wetland that's caused from uh, human activity and caused from the environmental impact. And we would like to know how the government make an effort to resolve the relevant issue into the wetland. And this is very important to know the reason why the government choose the wetland to restore and develop. And I think you may need to know why the government will restore the wetland. And according to our research, we found that there are some many reasons about this because the wetland is a place where collect the large stormwater, waste water from uh, residents in the capital. However, there are many research about this solution before, but all of those previous projects are no longer used because uh, of not effective system and the government tried to uh, revitalize for sustainable management. As we can see on the photo, you focus on the yellow border is the Tat Luang Lake or we, we say Tat Luang Wetland is the one of the government priority to develop and to restore the wetland to be eco society and smart city. There are many new projects we happen in Laos after that. For the next few decades, I think many areas uh, will be the specific economic zone, like in the south, in the center, and in the north part. Uh, let me introduce a little bit about the background of the wetland. Um, I found that many years ago, this place was a large area of rice field, but the area was affected by floods every year. Because of that reason, people abandoned as the area just uh, at the moment just left as a aquaculture farm, craft and grassland and some area are filled by new construction like hotel, restaurant or new housing. As shown on the map, these are the wetland in the capital city. Uh, we can see that there are 12 wetland, but the Tat Duong wetland is the biggest one. Uh, we can note that all the sub wetland water will flow from the sub wetland into the Tat Duong wetland. After that, the water will run off to the Mekong River. At the moment, we can uh, note that the wetland confront with many serious issues. Uh, it is degraded continuously with some issues like waste water, solid waste from urbanization around the wetland. And we know well there is no efficient management plan for solution because of large investment and uh, cost a lot of uh, money and the industrial pollutant still drain into the wetland and these are the main challenge for the government how to decide its solution. This is an example 
as I have mentioned before about the insufficient project. It's not just like insufficient, but I think it's unsuccessful project. The EU project has processed in 2009, and that is the dam and the bar screen on the photo you can see. And I think this is helpful only for the uh, small site like the sub wetland and to protect the solid waste from the wastewater canals, but not for the Tadong wetland because of because of its large size. This is also the EU projects that has processed in 2009. This project made a wetland for wastewater treatment by using a natural resource process to treat the wastewater. However, there are many people try to fill this wetland by constructing or uh, by building the new construction. And this is very hard for the city authority to resolve this problem. And the wetland will fill up more. I think the, the wetland will be will fill up from uh, people who live around if the government do not strict on it and we will lose the wetland as soon. It is an example and I think this is very good project that conduct in 2010 for wastewater treatment and flood control system. However, is this conception is no longer used because of the land of wetland area is filled by residents who live nearby the wetland. I will explain a little bit about the concept. The author would like to create the wetland here and we collect all the wastewater from the sub wetland. After that, the after that the wastewater will uh, come into the treatment plant and the water will flow into the lake before it flow into the canal and flow into the Mekong River. I think that sounds good concept and very very applicable but is already gone. This is very uh, necessary to do an assessment before we start some project or start a development. And indeed, there are more criteria of strategic assessment than this. However, I only show some relevant to wetland management. And you can read easily on the slide and I have some important point here and the government try to make balance of flood control and wastewater treatment and we will see another research in the next slide and this research found that you can see uh, on the graph show about the relation, the runoff pattern between time and flow, we can note that if the urbanization is increased, this means the water will run up following the urbanization. Uh, this point that the government try to make it balanced to control the floods and wastewater by stopping new construction from uh, the personal landlord to preserve the wetland again. Go to this slide. It is our goal of uh, wetland management in our case study. We can see that the government tried to make effort to reuse the wetland and manage it properly. Uh, in terms of the environmental protection, wastewater management, and also uh, to make the partnership to develop the wetland effectively. And I will come again 
and this is the picture you can see the different size of transformation around the wetland uh, I let the audience to see on the left photo first we can see the wetland is nearly gone because of uh, the near housing fields in area of view map here sorry uh, this area many house many households still live close to the wetland and if you see the plans of the government you can see like uh, the government need to clear off uh, the people who live close to the wetland and this is the project area I will uh, draw this is the project area that will conduct in next in the future it is our future development however uh, uh, the current investment project in wetland will conclude the embassy's cultural area financial and business area and will come in order and there are many beneficial effects in this area when finish this project, especially the, the developments of economic, the tourism, and the employment encouragement. Uh, these are some finished activity. I take picture in 2021 and you can see uh, the big canal and the condominium and some public park that uh, already finished but still have uh, more construction and the activity uh, hope to be complete in 2040. Uh, I will uh, explain a little bit about the benefit from wetland restoration for urbanization. Uh, why we need to preserve the wetland is because of its contribution in uh, multi aspect, but I think it depends on the country condition and situation. And we can see some example by the country below. For example, like Lao. You can see on on the left drawing. Uh, I I think that now we will focus on flood regulation, wastewater treatment, and for tourism and economic development. Another case in South Korea, they uh, made the large bridge, uh, the the long bridge for tourism and for recreation and leisure. And some example in China, it is a wetland for habitat of biodiversity. As you can see, uh, many kind of bird. I, I'm not sure what kind of bird here, but many bird around the wetland. And this is another example from United Kingdom. People uh, can do fishing can do a leisure and this area can be habitat for biodiversity for agriculture and aquaculture uh, it's very clear for tourism and another site is for in Nepal people harvest their agriculture product and it is must be for agriculture and human well-being And it is a good example in Japan about stock friendly farming in the wetland. And I think this can show that how Japan can handle the negative effect in the wetland. In history, in, uh, I will let you know a little bit about the story. In 1971, uh, it was a more, there, there was a modern agriculture at this paddy field and it was the main cause of stock extinction. However, uh, in the in terms of management, 
uh, Japan know that the water was the key factor to uh, revitalize or resettle the ecosystem of the paddy field and they could finally sustain the population of oriental white stock again and very surprised for me to know this information uh, this is another example uh, I will get in details uh, this area cover 12 hectares and people in this community they restore their embankment of agriculture area to make the efforts for preservation the wild stock and i found that the information uh, people in this community they used to give up about their farmings and abandons of the paddy field but they are very surprised to see the wild stock in the field again and this contribute the benefits effect in the community and this motivate them to regenerate the wetland again. I finally would like to say thank you for your kind attention and I hope all audience understand my presentation. Now we still have five minutes for Q&A. So that uh, I was wondering if, if you have any questions, you can ask for me directly. If I can answer, I will answer you directly. Or if I cannot, I will give your uh, answer later by sending email. And thank you very much for your listening today. And I hope you are stay safe. Thank you.